Welcome back to Win Madden. Today we're going to talk about one of the best defenses in the entire game, and this defense was used by some of the best players in the world in the most recent Madden Championship Series event over Thanksgiving. Now this defense also has another side perk. It works on next gen, and it works on current gen. So if you're new to the channel here, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. And one other thing, if you want this full scheme to absolutely scream, not only when we're sending the blitz, but also when we're dropping the coverage, head over to winmadden.com. This was just uploaded as a full mini scheme to our Bears defensive ebook. Yes, it's an addition to the Bears defensive ebook. But again, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Well, let's jump into it. guys so the defense that took the mcs by storm is one that you wouldn't expect four three even six one it's a mouthful it's totally off meta but is crazy crazy good at screaming bringing crazy pressure and getting your opponent to really really be concerned about what you're doing at all times so again if you want access to the full scheme head over to winmadden.com but what we're going to do here is we're going to come out in literally any play in this formation and we're going to get this to just scream so we're going to come out in tampa 2 to just get this started and then on offense we'll come out in gun bunch just because it's meta everybody's running bunch in some way shape or form so here we go we're going to come out in bunch and we'll come out in z spot and go because it starts out with sending five people into coverage now how are you going to set this up? I've seen a few YouTube videos on doing this, and they're just not quite right on getting it set up properly. So what we're going to do, though, is I do want to set our coaching adjustments just in-game to baseline. Now, we're not able to do that in practice mode, so my first adjustment here is going to be to baseline. So we're going to baseline, and you do need to do these next steps in order, okay? If they have a tight end on the field, you need to slide your defensive line towards the tight end. If they don't have a tight end, say they're in five wide or they're in some type of spread formation, you don't need to do the slide step. But if they have a tight end on the field, you need to slide towards them, okay? So that is left on the D-pad and then right on the left stick. And that'll make your defensive line slide in the direction again of the tight end. The tight end is number 83 in the formation here. And then what you need to do next is blitz all linebackers. So that is right on the D-pad and down on the right stick. That will blitz all of your linebackers. And then finally, we need to crash our defensive line up or out, however you want to phrase it. But that is left on the D-pad, up on the right stick. Now, this is what our defense now looks like, okay? Now, the final thing that we really need to do is we need to stand in the gap properly. Now, you can see the blitz angle here, right? Now, if the tight end is on the right, we want this blitz angle to be pointing on the left shoulder of the center. If the tight end's on the left side, we want that to be on the right shoulder of the center. Now, it will still work right now because we're not blocking anybody, but it becomes less consistent when they start blocking a tight end and a running back, so on and so forth. But this is where we want it to be right now because the tight end is on the right side. Again, blitzing on the left shoulder of the center, okay? Now, once the ball is snapped, all we're going to do is we're going to kind of hover in this gap for just a second. You don't need to touch up an offensive lineman or anything. You just need to kind of stand here for a second and then go play coverage. So your responsibility is kind of short, middle, to the right, to the left, wherever you think it's going, wherever you don't set up your defense. Okay. Now, if you want to play hard flats, you can play hard flats. If you, you can set your zone drops to whatever you want. Um, you can even come out in any play. It really doesn't matter. You can come out in a cover three, a cover four, a cover two. Man, it doesn't matter. This blitz is going to work no matter what. So you're going to see here, once we snap this ball, we're going to get both of our outside linebackers screaming free off the edge. Uh, but again, they're sending out five, so I will also show you how to send this when they, when they block a running back and when they block a tight end. So let's snap the ball. Again, we're just going to hover in this gap quickly, and you're going to notice we absolutely scream off the edge. Okay, so let's show this an instant replay quickly. Here we go. We're hovering in the gap. Boom. This guy comes screaming off the edge. He had Khalil Mack actually run into the tight end over here. Otherwise, he was coming in free too. So let's run that one more time. But now let's block a running back because that should presumably at least slow us down a little bit, right? So let's block a running back. Now, again, you can see the running back is blocked. Now, again, because I can't set my coaching adjustments to baseline, I need to baseline. If you don't know how to do that, maybe I should mention that too. It's Y on Xbox, triangle on PlayStation, and then right on the left stick. There we go, we're baselined. And again, our setup, it seems like it's lengthy and difficult to do. It's really not. Just watch how fast I do this now. I shift my defensive line to the right. I blitz all linebackers. I crash out. We are good to go. 
Okay, and then we want that blitz angle where it is. Again, you can play hard flats if you want. You can man up people if you want. Like, I'm just gonna man somebody up over here. You can do whatever you want, okay? Now, the running back is blocked. Now, once the ball is snapped, you're gonna see that Delvin Cook pays all of his attention straight on our user. So that's why we need to kind of hover in this area, just to occupy his attention long enough for our left of screen outside linebacker to come in absolutely free off the edge. So I'll show you what happens here. Again, he pays attention to us. We're gonna go in coverage now and boom we've got the sack now you might be saying well we had that guy wide open on the right side there well that's because i manned him up with somebody so we didn't have a hard flat over there but you can see the blitz comes in absolutely free off the edge against a blocked running back that's great right all right now what if they block a tight end most blitzes this year are picked up when blocking a tight end so let's show this here tight end is blocked you guys can see that now we're gonna baseline, slide the defensive line, blitz all, and crash up. We're good to go. Now, if you want to hard flat, again, you can do whatever you want, but the blitz angle's in the proper spot. You can see that, left shoulder of the tight end, or left shoulder of the center, opposite of the tight end. We're gonna, again, hover in the gap here just for a second. We're gonna go play D, and we're screaming in off the edge. Blocked running back, blocked tight end, doesn't. All right, and I just wanna show you guys real quickly what this actually does on current gen, okay? so. Here we are, we got the same defense, everything. We're running the same exact play on offense too. So we're gonna baseline, slide our defensive line, blitz all linebackers, crash up. Now you're gonna see, we're gonna stay in the same spot, same blitz angle, everything like that. We're gonna send everybody out on offense first, right? So let's we'll snap the ball. Again, you're gonna see we get the blitz coming in. I don't know why that guy was running so slow, but that was so slow coming off the edge there. But you can see that did come in. And in fact, normally that comes in much, much faster and comes in from both sides. So that was a little bit of a fluke. Uh, but let's walk the running back here and let's do the same setup again we're gonna this is our setup we're gonna stand in that same gap we're gonna do the same thing we just hesitate with the running back and we are able to come in screaming off the edge so again we've got heat all right now let's do it with the blocked tight end now the tight end is the one that causes problems on current gen so if they block a tight end on current gen you're gonna have a little bit more of a difficult time making this come in every single time but it will still work occasionally, okay? So you're you're not quite to a coin flip, I wouldn't say. it's. I, I would say it's about 30% of the time it comes in, 70% of the time it will get picked up. But, you know, I'm just being honest with you guys. That's what's gonna happen. So again, here's a block tight end. And we did get some disengages there. We got two disengages to happen. That is more frequent than the guy coming free off the edge. So again, let's block a tight end one more time just to show you. Sand of the gap in the same spot. Snap the ball, tight end's being blocked. Again, we almost got the, the A-gap disengaged there, but we did get a disengage eventually. And it's still super effective on current gen. You're just not gonna get the edge pressure nearly as much with the block tight end. So I did wanna show it to you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. You current gen users out there, I know you love content and you're not getting enough of it. So I wanted to share this with you as well. Going to come in, if they block both, this version of it is going to get picked up. If you want the full scheme to see how this works uh, for your coverage defense, how to scream even when you're dropping seven people into coverage, definitely go to Win Madden and check it out. But this defense is absolutely fire. You can take this in game right now and drive your opponent absolutely crazy because again, you can literally, I got the wrong controller here, you can literally run any defense behind it you want. Let's go to cover four quarters. Right? So maybe you just want to send pressure, but you want to guard against any streaks, right? Well, let's do this. Let's base a line. Let's shift our D line, blitz them all, crash them up, and we're good to go, right? So maybe they're blocking a running back and they're thinking, all right, I want to go deep. Well, we've got four quarters on the field now, and they're just not going to have anything open deep down the field, and we're going to get that instant sack. So, with that said, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. But like always, till next time, win Madden.